Swift supports error handling when a task is not capable to finish successfully and we have to report an error. The way we indicate that an error may happen is decorating a function with throws keyword before the return type. This tells Swift that maybe an error will happen, but not guaranteed. This concept is similar to async that you can see in the description below. If you want to execute a function that may throw, you always have to use try keyword and it will only be called inside another function that also throws. This is when you want to propagate an error through multiple layers. You can also use try keyword inside a do catch statement to propagate a high level error or do something else. If you don't want to use the do catch expression or simple if you don't care if this will throw an error, you can use optional try that will produce nil if an error is strong. You can validate it using if or guard statements. But keep in mind that whatever is the result, this won't produce a throwable error anymore. There is a second option that personally I don't recommend, which is a fourth try. Like any force on wrapping, if an error is strong, then your code will crash. Be careful and use it outside of production environments. Check out the links in the description to learn more about Swift. My name is Pete and this, this is Swift and Tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.